So let us try to understand the another type of relation. So that is the symmetric relation. So we tell a relation to be symmetric. Say example, a relation R on a set A is said to be symmetric if A comma B belongs to R, then B comma A belongs to R. So for all A and B belongs to the set A. So I hope the definition is clear. So that means a relation R is said to be symmetric on a set A if the elements A comma B so belongs to R, then B comma A also belongs to R for all A and B belongs to the set A. So now let us try to understand the so this with an example. A symmetric relation is a type of binary relation. And an example of this type of relation is equal to where so because if A equal to B is true then B is equal to A is also true. So I hope now you have so got the point of a symmetric relation. So now you have understood the meaning of a symmetric relation so by considering this particular example. So an example of a symmetric relation is a type of binary relation. So binary means when you are taking so two elements so we can form a relation by using the relation equal to. So if we apply the relation equal to, so then we can write this as A equal to B. If A equal to B is true, then B equal to A is also true. So this forms a symmetric relation. So I hope now you are clear with the symmetric relation. So now let us take 